Dave Popkin, Pam Roker back with you at Prudential Center in Newark. Interact with us today at our social media day. You can follow us at NEC Sports, hashtag NEC at the Pru uh, to engage today in Central Connecticut State. Uh, the first women's team to join us in her third year, uh, Kerry Reeves, the head coach, and Megan Kenefick, uh, junior forward on the team. And uh, you were picked to move up a couple spots this year. So my question is, where is the improvement? What are you seeing in practice that uh, gives you hope? Well, I think just the overall um, diversity of our team. You know, we have so many things that can do, so many players that can do so many different things. We added some size, we added some strength, we added some ability to shoot from the perimeter. Um, and they're all just great, tough, tenacious defenders. So we're really happy with where the team is at this point in the season. Coach, five newcomers in that group. Yes. And one of the things you talked about was being down to six players at one point last year. Yes. You said the team learned a lot about resilience. How's the health of the team so far? And let's do a two-part. What's the role of that three-point shot? I know you play that <laughs> up-tempo style. Is that still in your plans? Yes, it very much is. We've recruited for everybody to be able to shoot the three from the perimeter. Even our new kid, Laura, from Germany. Six-three kid can really wow. shoot the three, yeah. We uh, CC from New Jersey as a lefty point guard. And we actually added a walk-on this year, Livy, who's done a good job. Um, Brooke from Wisconsin is just a brute. Awesome. Um, loves to deer hunt and do different things <laughs> like that outside. And Tati's a post player from Virginia Beach. has done a really good job. So it's they're all great additions to our team and I can't wait to see how they fit in with the six players that we have uh, returning this year. I'm really looking forward to it. Well, you got a key player right next to you and Megan, I know one of the things coach talked about last year was your amazing leadership on and off the court with your team. This year you've got some big minutes. You saw action in 25 games last year, but Ashley Barubi graduated. That leaves some open time at that forward position. What are your goals for this year and how do you see your game kind of producing for the Blue Devils? Um, well, my goals are obviously win an NEC championship. Everybody says they want to do that. Um, so whatever I can do on the court to produce that goal. Yep. Um, I'm going to rebound the ball, play hard, and in practice we're always going to be competitive, push my teammates to be better. So whatever I can do to make my team better, um, that's just my main goal because we want to win games. Coach, what do you think about this young lady and her leadership ability? Two years in your program, a transfer from Cleveland State. Yeah. What has she done for the Blue Devils, and how important is she to you as a liaison to that team? She's a tremendous leader, both in the classroom and on the court, and thirdly, in the weight room. She, I, our offices are right across the hallway from the weight room, and I can always hear her voice encouraging people. <laughs> we gave away some awards this summer, and she was voted the best teammate by your teammates awesome. for the summer school. So, I mean, her leadership is not only in her effort, but in what she does in the classroom and how she carries herself on a day-to-day -day basis. That's awesome. This is a question for both of you, but for Megan first, uh, what's it been like playing with Forever Toppin and what does she mean to your team this year? Yeah, I love playing with Fo. Um, she's a true point guard. She loves to score, but she loves to assist even more. Yeah. Um, she brings great energy and she's just a great personality um, in the locker room. She really does a good job bringing the team together and she's just a great leader overall. Yeah, and Forever and her have a great relationship. They go at it every day, single day in practice. So it's fun to watch their banter going back and forth. And Forever being the fifth-year kid, you know, she feels like she's older than everybody else and knows more than everybody else. So it's a great relationship that she has with everybody on the team. She's such a pleasure to be with for the last five years. Any changes in your style of play this year? Oh, no. No, we're going to try <laughs> to get it out and run, and, and we're going to shoot the three like we talked about earlier and um, hopefully improve on our percentages a little bit and, you know, Put a few uh, more W's on the board this year. Awesome. Who's your best rival in the NEC right now? You? Uh, you got it. <laughs> I'm going with Sacred Heart. In, yeah. In-state in rivalry. State rivalry. Yeah, yeah, an hour down the road. So we always put a little star next to that on, on, the, on the schedule. <laughs> Fair enough. Sure. All right, Central Connecticut. Have a great season, and we'll see you out at the gym. Thanks, Thanks for having so much. Thank, Thank you. you. That's the Blue Devils joining us here at The Rock. Stay tuned. We'll have FDU coming your way next here on NEC Front Row and ESPN3.